What's up guys, Nick here with Pretty Much Canada saying what's up to my PMC click today. I'm gonna be doing a full review. I'm gonna do a wintertime review and then when I get it cleaned up and oil changed and all that stuff, I'm gonna do another like summer review so I can get underneath and do all the nook and cranny areas. But today I'm gonna do a review on my 01 Ford Super Crew F-150 4x4 pickup. Four door. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're a guy that likes hauling stuff with your trucks, that like throwing stuff in the bed, you want to haul that eight foot sheet of drywall home or them eight foot boards or whatever, do not buy this truck. I'm not saying this truck isn't reliable or good, just don't buy this truck for that. It's got a five and a half foot bed in there. You can haul a few gumballs in the back with that. Not ideal. I'm a big eight foot bed kind of guy. I like being able to haul shit without having to have my tailgate down. Can't even put my four-wheeler in the back without keeping the tailgate down. Don't like that. Love the truck. Just one of them little things to keep in mind. Five and a half footer, not a lot of bed space. But obviously you have cab space. So let's start with the front. I'm sure you guys can see behind me. There's a lot of ice, so I might slip on my ass. So that's that's the front of the truck. I'm sure everybody knows what a late 90s, early 2000s Ford F-150 looks like. I'll try to get a good view. Just kind of do a quick little walk around of it and then we'll go inside. Um, it gets about 14 miles on the highway. Well, kind of close shot. It gets about 14 miles on the highway, about 11, 12 in town. Another thing to watch out for, drop the tailgate, is, I don't know if you can tell, but on the tailgate, one of the things I don't like, let's see, right here on both sides, it, it, like, the bed humps in, you can kind of see, like, right here, I don't know why the tailgate doesn't come out to the sides, but that pisses me off. Anyways, a little cancerous rust right there. But that's one thing to keep in mind, your bed's not as wide, and it has a choke point. But that's okay, everybody can deal with that type of stuff, especially if you're a man. Alright, we're all boys here. Alright, let's go inside the truck quick. Just your standard old door panel, nothing special. We'll go on the inside here. Got your steering wheel, and like I said, I gotta clean it out, it's really, really ratty looking in here. Um, so the cool thing about the pickup is you have adjustable pedals on this switch right here so you can lift and lower the gas pedals to your liking. Got your fuses right underneath there. Got your e-brake, lever, and la la da da. Got your hood pop right there. Pull that to pop the hood. This is the layout for the speedometer. And that's the layout for the radio. And it's got the switch for the four-wheel drive, which I like. I'd rather it be on the floor there, but I'll take the switch over the push button any day of the week. Um, on this model, which is the XLT, it's got the USB, or not the USB, but the, uh, I don't remember, whatever that is, tell me in the comments, USB or whatever. And then it's got the cigarette lighter. Then it's also got an ashtray with a cup holder in there, but mine's kind of slapped out, so that doesn't work all that great. Glove box, pretty standard, comes with just about any vehicle nowadays. If you ain't got one, I highly recommend getting one. Here's the center console. It does flip up. That is one thing I don't like. I'd have to go to the shotgun side to show you. But there's a lever on the passenger side to help flip that back up. I don't know why they wouldn't have a lever on this side, but it's on the other side. And also, if you live in Minnesota, you probably have a can of that in your pickup. Not that I use it for my pickup, but you just, you never know. Ether's good. All right, uh, cab light. It does have, at least on my model, it has the compass and thermometer and all that jazz. You know, I don't know how extensive I'm being on a walkthrough, but like I said, dome light. Um, pretty spacious cab. One thing I did notice is when you're driving down the road, at least in this, I think my truck's got like 206,000 on it, so it's just broken in. Just broken in, brand new truck for sale. Let me, let me know if you want it. Um, 
Anywho, when you hit a bump, or not a, not a hard one, just kind of a gradual little, the steering wheel will rock with the bump. I thought that was kind of odd. And then it's got the step sides on the side. They work really good. Like really good, super sturdy and secure. And we'll go into the back. Got my kid's socks back here. These do not come with the truck. Anyways, back seat. I'm gonna kind of get back off. Very spacious for the most part. Um, you can fold your seat down. There's a lever down here. You can fold your rear seat. Got a jack back there. There's a little storage compartment right here, which is nice to hold like ratchets, straps, all that good stuff. This flops up, you got a little secure area back there. You got a little tie down, whatever area right there for whatever you think you can haul or want to haul. Um, yeah, nothing too fancy in the back seat. It did come with a rear tinted window when I first got it, but one of my stupid ass coworkers busted it out. So that's no longer, got a nice clear one in the back. Um, one thing I have been finding out and have heard that these, uh, pickups are notorious for is leaking out of the rear windshield i guess after so long there's a butyl tape that holds the rear windshield in and it uh dries up gets crusty and then it starts to leak and when i say leak i mean leak it does not dribble it 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 leaks like a jack sprinkler so anyways custom way to pop the hood it was in a crash few years ago they did really good on the repairment but kind of get a little under the hood view she's a little dirty but this is kind of what you get under the hood it's got the 5.4 triton v8 v2 just kind of thumb through it i was very surprised when i picked this pickup up picked this pickup up when i bought the truck i was surprised at how clean the engine bay was it's a little dirtier now but um, I don't know the torque. I don't know the horsepower right offhand. If I remember to research that, I will definitely put all that up in the description. But that's the engine bay. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Love the color. It's not my favorite color, but um, 17 inch wheels. I think the tires are a step up from the ones that come stock on it. Um, it does really good, um, towing and stuff if you haul a trailer or whatnot, like it'll tow just about anything you need a half ton to do it for. Uh, really good truck, haven't had any problems with it. Add oil here and there, change the oil, and I know guys say that this model, uh, Ford or this year, the spark plugs only have like three threads on them. So when you cook a spark plug, it'll shoot up out of the fucking block. You'll hear a nice ting on the bottom of your hood. You gotta go get that rethreaded and do a plug job. I haven't had to. I guess they're just notorious for it. But if you just maintain them right and take care of them, they're pretty, pretty decent, I would think. Uh, let's go do a, a startup on it. Kind of show all the lights and doohickeys on the dash. I don't know if you guys want a more thorough. And like I said, I'll probably do a more thorough. Um, review on it when it's a little bit warmer and I can get under the truck and all that jazz, but all right, let's fire her up. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Well, how many miles do we have exactly? 205 couple thousand off but that's all right because she doesn't she doesn't care but anyways if you're in the mild truck stuff you're not hauling all the time you're not hauling heavy shit all the time this is a really good truck not because i'm a ford guy i've just i've had really good luck with it so if I can recommend anything to you, I would recommend an 01 Ford F-150. But I won't recommend the one with the the five and a half foot bed. I think guys kind of laugh at me when they're rolling around with their six and a half, eight foot beds. Makes me feel like a little child. 
But uh, the Super Crew, it does help with kids. We got two kids, and it does help with kids having that space back there because I'm a regular cab, eight foot kind of guy. Eight foot bed kind of guy, and I completely went the opposite way this time, but that's okay. Anyways, you guys, this is my review on my 2001 Ford F-150 Super Crew 4x4. If you guys have any other questions or want me to thumb comb through anything more, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys for tuning in to my truck review. This is the PMC Click, pretty much Canada. I'm Nick signing out. You guys have a good day.